Hi, this is Charlie from Path of the Bee. In this video, I'm going to continue to work on my jaw crusher for my gold mine. In this video, I'll build a stand for it to sit on and mount an engine to operate it. We'll do a few other odds and ends. Okay, so one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to try and build a stand, but we'll get the motor out and we'll measure up some dimensions on it and see which side it needs to go on, front or back, uh, how big the stand will have to be, and that sort of thing. So I have a Predator engine. Uh, it's still in the box. And we'll fish it out. So I thought that one of these 212cc um, Predator motors would probably work just okay for this job. And, uh, and that's, that's what I ended up buying. Okay, so well, the first thing you need to do is determine the rotation of the crankshaft because this crusher has to turn this way in order to operate properly. That jaw has to come up and down to, to pull that uh, forward and down to pull that rock in and crush it. If it goes the other way, it'll just kind of keep lifting the stone out and not actually crush it. So it needs to turn this way. I'm going to pull the motor or the handle here and we'll see what way this rotates. Okay, so it rotates this direction and this motor will have to bolt on here pretty much like I have it sitting here. I did buy a, a smallest pulley I could find to fit on here and we'll mount the flywheel up with the V-belt groove on, on this side. I'll go ahead and put that together and we kind of get an eyeball of what we need there. Okay, so here's my, here's my pulley. Oh yeah, it fits right on there. Okay, so this is the flywheel I made with the V-belt groove in it. I'll run this around here. The keyway is up. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll put this keyway in here. Alright, so I can start making some measurements. All right, I found this piece of angle iron here, galvanized. I'm not super happy about that, but I believe it'll work. Um, we're going to build, make a frame here. I've looked this up and measured it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'll take these to the iron worker and I'll notch out a corner here so we can weld up a seam here. And these will actually fit like, like this. Okay, so this is how that joint goes together. I just coped out. I'll just do a fillet weld right here in the outside corner there. Um, and then here and here, I'll weld that also. Go ahead and prep this up with a little bit of flat disc, clean back some of this galvanized here. So, okay, so I've got these joints all cleaned back. I've got the zinc plating moved back quite a bit on them. I'm gonna put a box tube leg inside here and uh, so I'm going to get those cut before I start welding on this. Okay, it'll be one leg. Okay, so these legs are going to fit in here like this. I'll prep all this up nice. I'm going to also cut some pads to fit on that so that won't sink down in the mud a little foot. Okay, so I've, I've prepped all the corners here on this galvanized angle. And then I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to 
cut out a plate here, and I got a couple pieces that I can cut uh, with the plasma table there. We'll cut a couple triangles and weld them together. And that'll fill that all in. Before I weld that in, I'll machine some slots in it, and then I'll cut a plate out also that I'll bolt that solidly to, and then the that plate will adjust back and forth on on this slots that I cut. So the motor will have a a mounting system that is easier to adjust for me. So that's how I'm going to do that. I've prepped this all up here, gown back, the galvanized all the way around and all that. I've prepped these legs up here. Um, and so they're going to fit in the corners here. I have a little shim I'm going to place down there to keep them up so they fit in tight, weld them in there nicely. Um, then I've got some feet we'll put on do that first, get them centered up so they don't sink in the dirt too bad. I might have to, when I'm using this, set it on some 2 by 6s or something. These legs, I will also, uh, I'm going to build a cross piece, piece that fits in here, so we can get that cut, um, give it some stability this way, and we'll see how wiggly it is this way when I'm done. If I need it, I'll build some triangles that will weld in here. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and uh, get this uh, plates cut out on the plasma torch. So I'm just going to tack this frame up so I can kind of figure out how the motor's going to mount in there and uh, how things are going to go that way. So I'll get this squared up and spot welded together and then we'll flip it over and hopefully we can get it figured out exactly where the motor and the crusher will sit on it. Okay, so I got this tacked up. All right, these angle irons here are going to support the crusher. They're going to go under it and weld right in. The crusher will sit this way. And then uh, I'll be able to drill here on the ends and run some bolts in to bolt that down.
So I put this together, even at the max adjustment here, it was just too, it was just barely touching the crusher when it sat on the far end of the, of this frame here. So it's like I needed to gain quite a bit of room. So I gained about two inches here, and I gained about an inch here, I redrilled the plate. And so I think after I get these slots cut out, I'll go ahead and do that. Um, things will work. Before I cut the slot, I need to weld this on the other side and, uh, and make that work. So I'll go ahead and get this whole thing welded up. Okay, well I'll take the crusher and the motor off and uh, get back down to just this base and we'll flip it over and weld the legs on. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to stick the flywheel back on there and get an estimate of uh, what size belt I'm going to need. Okay, I have my funnel hooked up to add oil into the engine. It calls for 10W30 in the owner's manual. Half a quart, so I'll pour a half a quart in here and let it let it drain in. Okay, I'll add some gas. Okay, I got a belt. This is my best guess. I hope I was right. Well, that's all twisted up. I got a plastic 
coat here. That'll fit right there, perfect. I put too much rocks in that. Okay, so what am I missing here? Oh yeah, can't forget the cup holder. All right. Okay, well, let's see if it'll, uh, if it'll start up with the flywheel and then I gather up some rocks on one of my road trips here uh, that I take every spring from out in Washington State. I'll throw some of them in there. A little more throttle. Okay, so what's left in there is just a couple little rocks that can't quite, they don't have the nip angle quite right. It would have been better to have the jaws actually a little bit closer together here on top. Um, I give it a little bit more angle to, to get it. I made this as wide as the book said that I could get away with, but oh well. Okay, so this is the material. You can see how fine it's crushing it. It's, uh, of course, it's kind of a sandy type of a stone but this definitely half inch minus it'll go through the impact crusher really nice this piece of material had a lot of chalcopyrite in it came from out there in Blue Pass Washington so anyhow we'll work that over okay well it turned out really good it seems like it's gonna crush that ore up really nicely and uh, do a good job for me. So I'm happy about that. I was worried that the little motor maybe be oversped or underpowered. It's working really good. I, uh, I'm, I'm happy. All right, well, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.